Fungicides have become an integral part of controlling black leg disease of canola, and so with that comes the risk of fungicide resistance. So it's really important that we keep on top of that and really know what's going on out there in the field so we can give growers advice. Black leg disease is probably the most important disease of canola and can cause significant yield losses, and the use of fungicides is a really important way of minimising those yield losses and controlling disease. My name is Angela Vanderwell. I'm a research fellow at the University of Melbourne. I uh, lead the project that we do on fungicide resistance and we have a team of people here in Horsham with our industry partner Mark Ross Gray's Pathology. My name's Alec McCallum. I'm a current PhD student through Melbourne Uni based here in Horsham. Black leg disease in the past has caused up to 95% yield losses but typically it's only around 5 to 30% when managed properly and yet yeah, fungicides are really important in managing that disease. So if we did lose the fungicides to resistance then there would be significant yield losses. The GRDC have been funding black leg research for over 20 years and we've been very fortunate to keep that work going since then. Black leg is always going to be an issue for growers, they always are going to have to manage it. It's not a disease we can eradicate, it's always present at the start of every growing season and so it's really important for growers to understand the tools that they have to be able to control it and they do have many tools now. So part of the work we're doing is surveilling for fungicide resistance. So we get stubble sent in from across the country from agronomists, we can put them through these systems, collect the spores and we can look at the frequency of fungicide resistance in each of those paddocks and then hopefully give advice to growers to say, hey, you've got a potential problem, you might need to switch to a different chemistry. Already I've surveyed around 200 paddocks, the stubble from those paddocks for fungicide resistance and we found quite widespread resistance, sort of moderate to high levels for the group 3 DMI fungicides, but we're also testing the group 7 SDHIs and they've been found to be really effective still. So for minimising black leg of canola, there really are three strategies, there's genetic resistance, fungicides and cultural practices. The Afrin Fry principles are avoid susceptible crop varieties and that's extremely important for black leg. If you grow a resistant variety, you're going to have a lot less issues with black leg. You want to rotate your crops to reduce your disease carryover. So uh, avoiding last year's stubble is a primary way of controlling black leg disease. Non-chemical control methods to reduce disease pressure, again, uh, minimising the impact of the stubble and only spray when it's necessary. And then if you are spraying, make sure you're rotating and mixing fungicide groups so that you're reducing the impact and potential risk of fungicide resistance. The difference between the DMIs and the SDHIs is a lot of disease in there, isn't there? The goal of our research is to be able to give growers confidence to use their fungicides without the risk of fungicide resistance evolving. And if it does evolve, have the ability to then manage that. Mm -hmm.